I was doing research this morning about territory because we're, we're talking about home life and what the Western lowland gorillas need in the wild and in a, an exhibit such as ours. Um, and it was quite interesting because when I started reading, I was reading some material from early in the 2000s, so around 2010, and it said that they're not really territorial and that some of the guerrilla troops can have areas that one troop, so say for example, our family troop would have a territory and they can range up to 16 square miles or 41 square kilometers. So it's a good stretch of land but that they will overlap on a lot of the edges with other guerrilla troops. But that with some of the smaller troops, they can actually be inside a larger troops area. So again, that was older information. And then I stumbled across a research document that was published in 2020 that said, actually, they do like their own territory and not that they won't share it, but they will express some aggression if they don't want the other troop there. So that was interesting. The researchers likened it more to how we are, how people are. See, all the way along, we've been told that we were very similar to chimpanzees and that we have very strict boundaries for our territory and we'll defend it. No one's allowed to cross it, similar to how we have our countries, but that gorillas were very open and not, it's, it wasn't a big deal. But now they're saying they do want their territory. And I think it comes down to food. They want to make sure that there's always adequate food and that they can move around and that's fine. So it isn't that they don't protect. And they were saying that if you have this big area, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not good where my camera is, um, with this big territory, but there's usually a spot usually in the center of it that that's exclusively for say Charles family troop and they're not going to share it with the other troops that might come into their outer area of their territory. That's okay, but don't come near our center area, for example, because we'll defend that. Now, not that they're going to have an all out war because that's not what gorillas do, but they will verbalize and they will display aggressive threat posturing, like the beating on the chest and the growls and the barks and things like that, and the mock charges with the silverback or however many silverbacks are in the troop. So they'll defend that little area.